Assalamu alaikum everyone I hope all of you are fine so let's begin with our discussion on today's topic that is what is a verb So verb has been derived from a latin word verbatim which means the word or the most important word of a sentence verb is the action word it describe the states of a things changes of tense is directly or indirectly the changes of verb so one of the basic principles of an english language is that the verb of a sentence must agree with its subject for example the soldiers attack the enemy boldly so in this sentence attack is basically a verb it basically agree with the subject that is soldiers so verb can be identified in two ways it shows action he plays hockey so in this sentence plays is basically an action and it agree with the subject the second thing to identify a verb in a sentence is that it has three forms plays played or played or go went or gone so these are the two things that helps us to identify verb in a sentence so there are further types of a sen- uh, types of a verb as well the first one is helping verb helping verbs help the verb in forming passive voice questions or negative sentences for example i am reading in this sentence am is basically a helping verb because it helps to make a positive sentence and the another sentence is they were feeling hot so in this sentence were is basically a helping verb because it helps to make a sentence or it talks about a verb that is performing an action the second type is transitive verb transitive verb has an object it requires an object it is an action which passes from the subject to an object that receives the action for example he teaches maths so in this sentence maths is basically an object so it is called a transitive verb because it requires an object while another type is opposite to transitive verb that is intransitive verb it does not requires any object it is an action that does not passes from a subject to an action for example he laugh the second example is i sleep early so in this sentences the sentence does not have any object like he killed he killed does not have any object he laugh does not have any object so it is called intransitive verbs another type is modal verbs modal verbs are the verbs which are used with ordinary verbs to give the meaning of permission possibility probability certainty and necessity they are 10 in numbers for example can could may might will would shall should must and ought they are called defective verbs as well because they do not make sense unless used with an ordinary verb for example may i sit down please in this sentence may is basically a modal verb the second sentence is i may be home late in this sentence may is also a modal verb i would like to share my experiences with you in this sentence would is basically a modal verb so that is why they are called a defective verbs because they do not makes sense unless used with an used with an ordinary verb so without alone they makes no sense but with the whole context they make a sense they make a sense like may might would cannot make any sense unless they can use with the whole context they make a sense like i may be home late alone may never make any sense but if you use in a sentence it makes sense so that's all from my side please like subscribe and share my channel thank you for watching